A cut line can be required when creating an applique or when creating a die cut or laser cut outline. To create a cut line around an existing design in Wacom Embroidery Studio, first we need to select all the objects in our embroidery design. From the edit menu, select Select All. Now we need to create our offset object which will become our cut line. From the left side menu, select Simple Offsets. Then specify the spacing or the offset value that you want your line to be created around your design. Select Offset 1 and ensure your object type is set to Run. Then click OK. Embroidery Studio will create a run stitch offset around your design using the offset values you specified. Select your run stitch and first of all ensure it has a bright colour such as red or green. Now we need to convert the run stitch object into a vector object that will eventually become our cut line object. Right click on the run stitch, select convert then select Convert to Vector Object. We can now switch to Graphics Mode and export this vector object using the various file formats that are available in the CorelDRAW export. From your top menu, select Switch to CorelDRAW Graphics. You can now select your vector object that you've created and adjust settings such as the thickness or color and then export this vector object by browsing to file and selecting export. Give your file a name and select any of the export file types such as EPS or DXF, then click export. Some designs can be more complicated and may require some editing before you export them as a vector shape. Once again select all your objects in a design, then select simple offset. Choose your offset values and click OK. In this case, my offset has created additional offset outlines inside the design that I do not want. Select those objects and delete them from your design. Then once again, select your offset outline, right click, convert, Convert to Vector Object, then click Switch to CorelDRAW Graphics Mode, select your outline shape, then go to File, Export, choose your file type and enter your export file name. 